presence, in presence, and based among you, believing, but being absent, and bold toward you. But I beseech you that I may not be bold where I am when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walk according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Look at somebody and say, pulling down strongholds. Pulling down strongholds. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Do you look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts to himself that he is as he is Christ's, even so are we Christ's. For a few minutes I want to talk from the subject, Worthy Warriors, Warring Bulls. Christ is saying, um, 
there's a time when Christ was angry. Uh, yeah. And there was a time when he's not angry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> it is not a sin to be angry. It's a sin to be angry at the wrong time. Yes, sir. And, and, and you learn how not to be angry at people. Come on, man. All right, all right. For we, we war not against flesh and blood. Fighting a 
abortions, but you're helping folk kill other folk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But your policies, we got uh, people yes. getting rich and, and, and making all kinds of money who don't need money. That's right. But at the same time, they're being selfish as it relates to aiding and abetting the poor, trying to help those who are less fortunate. Yeah, yeah. See, like the church has no problem promoting greed and selfishness. Homosexuality is being promoted as an acceptable lifestyle. Whereas we need to be sympathetic because a lot of them have been mistreated and misunderstood. God demands that we love everybody. But God also demands that what he calls sin is sin.
know somebody stronger than what you can hold. God has the world in his hand. He has all power in his hand. And you better believe the Bible is still real, real and true. Be not deceived. God is not marked. Whatsoever you plant, that's what's coming up. Yeah, God, I want you to think of all these hurricanes and floods are just by accident. God said, I know how to get your attention. I know how to make you pay for some of this stuff. And I, are you saying everybody who had a flood is a devil? No. But you see, sometimes the good has to suffer for Yeah, 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 yeah. So we do for those of us who claim we are good and we are suffering, maybe God is allowing us to go through some stuff because we haven't been witnessing as much as we should have. We haven't lifted him up as much as we should have. We haven't let the world know that he is the alternative of life that the world needs to know. There is a God who sits up high and looks down the middle way. He demands a certain amount of respect.
What about your mind? Have you ever pictured a naked woman in your mind? What about you? What's going on in your mind? And then those of us who think we all that in the bag of chips that we don't do anything wrong, we got to be realistic about what goes on in our mind. I can fool some of these folks in here, but you don't fool the law. Because you know, I've been walking with them so long, I think I'm kind of growing because you ain't doing a pretty good job of fooling me. Like folks sitting up here like they all that in the bag of chips. You know good and well you got some evil thoughts going on in your mind. You, you know you got some thoughts you ain't got no business thinking about. You don't just think about the law the whole time. Go. Yeah, funerals, I can tell, but James, when I'm at a funeral, you got a, a lot of unchurched people in the funeral. That's when you see these young ladies, these fine young ladies. And they come to the funeral with them little short dresses. If they lean too much, you're going to see more than you're supposed to see. Oh, yeah, look, at, look, at, look at the flow back there. I don't know what I'm talking about.
comes trying to knock on the door and say there are no occupants. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Blessed is the man that walking not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standing in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do the Bible, and I just have to check, I have to make sure I get through this song before July, though, because this is a way to walk. And then when I when I got to that 19th Psalm, oh man, I forgot the 19th Psalm. Those you don't know, that's the longest uh, Psalm don't have chapters, but if you had a chapter, that'll be the longest one in the Bible. Yeah. There's yeah. almost 150 verses hmm. in the 100th Psalm, but all the verses in Psalm 119 deals with nothing other than the psalmist's appreciation and love yeah, right. for the laws of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. His yeah. delight is in the law yeah. of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you want to you keep the devil out of your head, I dare you to read the 119th Psalm, man. Just keep it over and over. Keep, keep, keep putting the laws of God in your mind. Keep, yeah. keep reading the Bible. A man ought to walk and how a man ought to Just keep putting God's word in your mind. Turn, yeah, yeah. turn to the psalm and start quoting some of those psalms. And, and it's not just blessed, it's the man who got the, the, the Lord is my shepherd. I, the Lord is my light and my salvation. And, and, and just keep, keep reading that stuff and just keep putting the Lord's word in your mind. And when you, put, when you can keep crowding God's word, God's laws in your heart and in your mind, and the devil don't have room to come in with his good sneaky stuff. Place the ideas, uh, 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 these, these strange ideas and these proud obstacles that the devil likes to throw in your way to block the knowledge of God. You got to block it with God's word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to get you to get rid of God's word. And you got to feed on God's word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And walk, I tell you. And you got to walk against uh, the world's law. See, sometimes we think we're so smart and so intelligent, we think we can solve some things by ourselves. And you got to understand, you're not smart enough to deal with the world's problems. Uh, you need some Holy Ghost in you. You got to consult God and have God to speak to your situation. Yeah, yeah. Let like the Lord, Lord, have His way. Let the Spirit speak to your situation. I, I, I love the fact that I'm not in this walk by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that we're in a warfare, but we got we are we are also on the winning side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in a warfare, but there's no I, there's no there's no question as who's going to win. We we're not losing. We're not on the losing side. And if you feel like you're losing something wrong with what you've been doing, you, know, you got to change your habits. I, I say that, that 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 warfare, the weapons. He said truth and faith and love and and prayer. You got to spend some time talking to God. You know? Some direction yeah, help yeah, me yeah, to yeah, be yeah. what you want me to be. Yeah, yeah. Help me to walk the way you want me to walk. Yeah, yeah. Out of my step and clarify my receiver yeah. so I can receive what you're sending out to me yeah. with a clear head. I don't have to wonder whether or not it's you, but I can be serviced the Lord speaking to me. Somebody said he talks in a still, small voice. He whispers, but you know what? I found God is not a boring kind of God. He, He'll whisper today, but he might shout tomorrow. He, say, say, he, say, say. he might make you walk today, but he have to run in tomorrow. He, he, he doesn't always do it the same way. Sometimes it's a quiet, still voice, but sometimes it's lightning and thunder. Sometimes, sometimes he'll talk in the earthquake. Sometimes, sometimes he'll talk in a volcano. God knows how to get your attention. Showing off and let me know who he really is. Yeah. I got to understand it's God and he's God all by himself. Yeah. Since it's God, I got to let go yeah. and let God. Yeah. When you see people who are bored, that's why we're not spending enough time yeah. on God. But, yeah. but God's got a way of shaking stuff up. Yeah. I wish yeah. I had a way. He don't just shake stuff up on Sunday. He'll do it whenever. God, yeah. I'm here this morning and listen to a record. I might try 
never sang that leg on too. But I was listening to this record, and before I knew it, that thing that got all over me. It, the Holy Ghost just got to messing with me. I almost didn't see that light that, that the Holy Ghost got a way of messing with you. He doesn't care where you are, he doesn't care how you are. Homosexual said, we need to get married, and you can't tell me who 
to love. Well, I'm not trying to tell you who to love. The Bible says you ought to love everybody. Yeah. But there are certain things you ain't got no business doing with a dog. That's right. I wish I had a business yeah. here. Because the Bible declares you can't do everything. Yeah. You can love your dog, but don't love them a certain way. Yeah. You can love your friend, but you can't love them a certain way. That, and I've got to learn how to stay within the parameters of the law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of the fakers and shakers that's been lying to you. And you got to let go and let God. Yeah, yeah. Let God control your life. Let God set some boundaries for your life. Let, uh -huh. let God set some uh, yeah, parameters so that you can't just, just go off free-handed. Yeah, yeah. I've got to learn how to lean and depend on Jesus. Yeah, I need to be ready to walk in before you ask God. Uh, yeah, I need to be able to ask God to take control. Yeah. Amen. Ask God to blow the door, yeah, open. I, you know, uh, before I ask Him uh, to level the mountain, uh, I got to be willing uh, to walk out the mountain is level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. since yeah. me asking God to blow the door down, uh -huh. if I'm not ready to walk through the door. Yeah. His part. Uh, you want God to show His power, uh, and God said, "Well, whenever you want me to show my power, uh, you better be ready to participate." Uh, yeah. God has the power to do what He's going to do, but yeah, yeah. I have to participate with the power. Uh, if yeah. I want Him to touch a heart, uh, I got to be ready to witness to that heart. Uh, if I want Him to bring folk into the house. Uh, yeah. I got to be willing to minister to them uh, once they come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You begging God uh, to bring in the hungry, uh, and you don't want to feed them once they get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You asking God to close uh, the neck, uh, and you think God going to let clothes fall out of hell. Uh, yeah, yeah, God yeah. said, no, uh, you got the answer at your house. Uh, you need to be about our Father's business. Uh, and find what it is he wants our hands to do. Uh, you have to become, uh, yes, uh, participants uh, in the will of God. Yeah. Yeah. I say, I want to make a difference in the world, uh, but I want to use you uh, yeah. Yeah. on my program. And he said, you have not, because you have not. Well, uh, before you start asking, uh, you better think about the consequences. <laughs> To make a way, he might just make that way. Yeah, yeah. When I ask him uh, to give me more resources, uh, with those resources all co also comes more responsibility. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then Lord, uh, bless me. Uh, but if I want him to bless me, uh, I've also got to be willing uh, to be a blessing. Yeah. If I want him to help me, uh, it's only so that I can help somebody else. Yes, if I'm warring for the Lord, uh, I need to be worthy of who I'm uh, yes, uh, warring with. Uh, yeah, yeah. If I'm going to be a Christian, uh, I need to be worthy of my name. Yeah, yeah, if I'm a child of Christ, uh, I ought to be Christ-like. Uh, I ought to be living according to the principles and precepts yeah. of Christ. Yeah, yeah. They don't have to read their Bible. Uh, they're supposed to read me. Yeah. And see some Jesus in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since I met Jesus, He's made a difference in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since I met Jesus, He put a burning. Uh, song said, "Oh, what a burning!" Yeah, Deep yeah. down within, yeah. He, yeah, he changes me yeah. from day to day. Yeah. Yeah, he makes a difference uh, in the way I walk, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the way I talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Old things are done away with. Yeah. 
if you're in Jesus, uh, he's going to make a difference not only in your life, uh, but in the lives of those uh, you encounter. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You walk with Jesus, uh, yeah, he's yeah. going to give you a boldness uh, yeah. that you never had before. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you yeah. walk with Jesus, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can your expectations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just expect the plan. Uh, but when you hang out with Jesus, yeah, uh, yeah, you start yeah. expecting the unexpected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The church, I don't expect to have ordinary service. I wish I had a witness here. I come to God's house expecting an extra ordinary service. When I come to God's house, I don't expect the choir just to sing. I want to sing. I want to light up the place. I want the Holy Ghost to be in control. I want it just to have nights here for decoration. But the choir is blasting, huh? and the Holy Ghost is in charge. Huh? When you let go and you let God, huh? you start expecting the unusual. Huh? You start expecting blessings. Huh? You expect the Holy Ghost not just to show up, huh? but you want Him to show out. Huh? You don't just want Him to be here, huh? but you want Him to yes, huh? make His presence known. Huh? Start with me. Huh? And if you're getting me right, I can take care of the person next to me. But you're working me first. If you set me on fire and they make the mistake of getting too close, the fire from me will jump off of me off the end. If you let me have you, that's all I need is for you to do what you can do with me. And I'll get close enough to somebody else. Thank you.